Intro What does it mean to be free? Is freedom just a word, or does it hold deeper meaning in our lives? Welcome to today's video where we explore the concept of liberty in political science. Liberty shapes societies and defines how we live our daily lives. It's not just topic for textbooks, it's something that impacts each of us. So, why is understanding liberty important? In a world where rules and governments often challenge our freedoms, knowing what liberty truly means can help us manage our rights and responsibilities better. Let's dive in. Main content first, let's define liberty. Liberty is generally the state of being free within society. It encompasses the ability to express oneself, make choices, and pursue happiness. In political science, liberty is often viewed through two main lenses, positive liberty and negative liberty. Negative liberty is about freedom from interference. It's the idea that individuals should be left alone to do as they please, as long as they don't harm others. On the other hand, positive liberty focuses on the ability to act upon one's free will. It's about having the resources and opportunities to fulfill one's potential. Let's look at some historical examples to better understand these concepts. In the 18th century, the American Revolution was sparked by people seeking negative liberty. They wanted freedom from British rule and oppressive taxes. They desired to govern their own lives without outside interference. On the flip side, positive liberty was a strong undercurrent in the rise of social welfare policies in the 20th century. Here, the emphasis was on providing citizens with education, health care, and social services so they could pursue their goals effectively. Now, liberty isn't just about individual rights, it also involves the collective aspect. In a democratic society, the idea of liberty often extends to the protection of minority rights. Ensuring that everyone, regardless of their background, can enjoy their freedoms is vital. Think of it this way. If one group's freedom threatens another's, can we truly say we live in a free society? Now, let's touch on the role of government in promoting liberty. Governments are set up to protect individual rights. However, they can also become a source of oppression, limiting freedom instead of expanding it. This balancing act is where much of political debate occurs. For example, during times of war or national crisis, governments may impose restrictions for security reasons, leading to a heated discussion on civil liberties. Remember the events following 9-11? Many laws were enacted that raised questions about surveillance, privacy, and individual freedoms. Laws like the USA Patriot Act reflect the tension between security and liberty. And what about the role of social movements in advocating for liberty? In recent years, we've seen movements like Black Lives Matter and the fight for LGBTQ rights push for greater freedoms and protections. These movements highlight how liberty is not just handed down, it is fought for and earned. Public support and activism can reshape societal norms and push governments to honor people's liberties. Moreover, let's not forget how technology plays a role in liberty today. The Internet has opened up new avenues for free expression but has also raised concerns about privacy and data security. Social media can amplify voices that were previously marginalized, giving individuals the power to speak out. However, platforms can also monitor and censor content creating a new layer of complexity around the concept of liberty. This intersection of technology and liberty invites us to think critically about our rights as digital citizens. Lastly, let's consider one more dimension, global perspectives on liberty. Different countries interpret and prioritize liberty uniquely. In democratic nations, individual freedoms tend to be celebrated, while authoritarian regimes often suppress liberty for the sake of control. Understanding global perspectives can help us appreciate the privilege we have in enjoying certain liberties while recognizing that others may still be fighting for theirs. So, when thinking about liberty, consider this. Are you aware of your rights? Are you willing to advocate for the rights of others? Liberty is a collective work in progress that requires our attention and care. Outro If you found today's exploration of liberty in political science insightful, please give us a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What does liberty mean to you? Don't forget to subscribe for more engaging discussions on political science and its importance in our channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.
Stay curious and keep exploring the world around you.